Has Sandy got the goods on him? Okay, Trey, for the record, are you gay? And is Sandy the virgin now dating the porn star? We are a group of Canadians. In a downtown law. Where we work at a TV station hosting programs on everything. News and music. Sex and game shows. We also live in the law. Cameras everywhere. 24-7. UHTV.com. This is our reality. for my liking. Are you a porn star? Yes. You are? Okay. Yes, and the question that everybody wants to know from TV who doesn't get yes. to see. Here we go. Here we go, guys. He's a porn star. Doesn't that say enough? Uh, so 72 porno is a stripper and he does what he does, you know. I don't know why he does what he does. Yeah. What do you think of this size? I mean, I've, I've seen guys with, with lush. Lower a bit. You know, he's very confident to the point of arrogant and he just seems to be a little shady to me. I think he's like a joker. looking, he has a nice body, um, he's very confident with himself, and he's also respectful at the same time. Like when we did, like when I was joking around, he's always like trying to make sure that I was, I was comfortable with it. And when I said, I'm stopping, he didn't, it didn't bother him, you know what I mean? And then um, I was upstairs after the meeting, and everybody's like, oh, Sandy, go downstairs, there's somebody here for you. I'm like, what? So I go downstairs, and Jimmy's there, and he's like, oh, let's, whatever. So you just do private stuff now, or are you doing My goodness, no. I still uh, make a new porno every week. <laughs> I've got my own website going up in about another, uh, probably about another month and a half, I'm gathering. The, the industry not, not here, is, is that no, good? No, I just moved here. What? See, I just moved here two years. I got deported back here from... I'm not going to go with that. I just came from a federal prison in Georgia. And, uh, yeah, Atlanta, Georgia. I used to live in Miami. I got caught running a bunch of blow up through the country. and. They shipped me back here. I get sentenced to 10 years, but they shipped me back Put that room. up to underneath your chin. Is that better there? Or you can pray. <laughs> That's what I wish I do sometimes of the things I say. Oh, my God, I can't believe I said that. You go to church? What's that? You don't go to church? No. I noticed you were kind of knocking the hole. Believe it or not, I do. No, no, you know, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't knocking, I wasn't knocking, 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 knocking. I, wasn't I don't understand what the whole, what the whole argument's it, been all week. That, the uh, whole, this, okay, okay I'll, you say I'll, it's critical, but like, what, did, she lose, did she lose her virginity? Nine I'm now. happy for her. Like, I, I said, I'm totally happy for Sandy. Have fun, man. Yeah, Have sex. Work Have it. Fun. Love it. You can live life. <laughs> but just don't. <laughs> Live life. You see what they've done? They've hooked me up to a microphone already. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Is he going to do a tray, though? I mean, like... No, but... but, but. I mean, he's totally <laughs> in the right, and we're totally in the wrong. It wasn't about the actual act. Have fun, man. You know what I mean? I'm off that. Oh, God knows I do. Funny that 
you of all people would be the one who would be complaining the most. And I, I think complaining. go and do it. I, I was no, you weren't it. complaining. You were I just was... yelling your ass off. <laughs> complaining. What? I, I, I you was were sorry. jealous. Admit it. Admit it. Just say I was a little bit jealous. A jealous. Just say no, not not even a smile. You can <laughs> tell. You can no, tell. You. No, it's because turning red. <laughs> Zoom in on his cheeks. <laughs> how red they're turning. Jealous. Come on. No, I don't, jealous of what? Oh, I mean. To, <laughs> jealous you got like what like no, a su no, super no, huge dick? Maybe, yeah, sure. No, yeah, yeah, no, what no, you say? You got a huge dick? Maybe just you got a suit. You got a nice that body. Maybe you you ripped been, body uh, in the same room or in the same house and loft as the little virgin girl, and some stranger came into your house and had the virgin's pants down. With the <laughs> maybe that was John. No, no, I swear to God, it's that game's a little bit different. That's not it. No, no. You, I mean, you guys are making it out to me like I've I've tried to hit on Sandy and I and I wanted something no, and, 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 and it failed. Tried. Tried. No. Maybe it's been a, no, no, no. Hey, listen, listen. No, I was, that's true. He's, I, I he's wasn't, come I wasn't, to me and said, sat down and said, I guess I'm going to have to really be nice to you since we're going to have sex before the year is over. Oh. No, that's yeah. that's a joke because hey, okay. Seriously, in the back your head, you would like to have conquered the virgin. No, no, no. So. I like to put everything to the rest. I'm not jealous of Jimmy Dean. That total stranger came in here and, and got to see her ass or whatever. Like, it's not, it's, it's totally not what this whole thing is about. But it's just funny that I find you, um, behind Jimmy's back, you're like, Reaming him out. No, it wasn't behind yeah, you. No, what, and, yeah, well, when we were sitting here uh, watching you, what the fuck are you doing? Jimmy, you don't well, know how many STDs he, he has, here. blah, blah, blah. No. You have no clue. And now, all of a sudden, you're sucking up to him. I like the shirt, I like your pants, I like all this. No, it's funny. I, it's I'm not face. sucking up. No, I'm not two faced. I'm not well, sucking up to him. Like, I, I admit it before he even came back that I was a little hard on him. I don't know him, and you know, I'm the first to know. Like, I don't like people passing judgment. And maybe I got caught up, caught up in, in my anger or us fighting and said some or stupid jealousy, shit. Or Sure, okay, fine. You want, <laughs> you want to say that? Fine, jealousy, whatever. <laughs> totally not that at all. I was just, it, maybe I, I was trying to make my point through a different avenue, which I shouldn't have, because really, it's really, had, he has nothing to do with it. I don't know him from, I don't know his past. I don't know why he does what he does. I don't know, you know, I mean, I don't know anything about him. And, and, and it's, not, it's not for me to, to say anything or pass judgment on But. But we all do. That, that's fine. I'm not okay, saying that okay, it's a bad thing. Okay, we all do, and I did, and, and I but said it, I was wrong. But it's I was funny wrong that judgment. you freak right out. Like I understand. I, I, know, I know what, like, respecting other people are. And I, I totally, I totally went, I totally made comments. And well, I wasn't the only one. Maybe it was fueled by, like, you know, everyone, you know what I mean? But, like, it wasn't me that brought her up, but, like, the, it was actually another loft that brought up, like, the bacteria issue, you know what I mean? Like, right. And, like, and, and, and uh, comparing a girl showing their tits and, then a, and a male masturbating because... It's the whole thing is this, 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 this is a, this is about anyway, it was Jimmy Dean coming in and, and, and me saying. Now, so <laughs> Let's go. See, take care. Rude. Out of here. Right, see you, man. See you. I'll see you. I'll see you around again soon. Sure, we will. Bye. <laughs>Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy Dean. The infamous Jimmy Dean. Now, he blew through this loft like a tornado, and he was fun to have while we had him. Anyway, I'm Arissa, and I'm in the loft right now telling you how you can watch more of Jimmy Dean his little leather thong, if you want to. Anyway, www.u8tv.com, right here, our webpage. Check it out in the video archive section. You can see all the coolest moments from the entire year uh, at the click of a button. So definitely check out Jimmy because he is pure entertainment, if nothing else, is all I'm going to say. Don't forget, on January 13th, there's going to be a huge Lofters Marathon. So all the episodes, all good, really good episodes you missed from the year, are going to be all together in six hours between 3 and 9 right here on the Life Network. UATV.com. If anything, I can get dirt on you, Trey, because you live in Toronto, and we're in Toronto, and I'm sure there's a lot of people who don't like you very much, and uh, I'm going to get lots of dirt on you. In fact, people have already been talking. Okay, Trey, for the record, are you gay? Oh, okay, that's cool. Oh, you don't like when people call your names, eh? Go ahead, slap me in the face and get kicked out of the loft. Come on, do it now. Come on. F*** off. I'm sick of talking to you like... A human being, because it's a human being you ain't. I went out for lunch, and of course the camera came, and we just had lunch, and that was it. Obviously he likes me, he keeps coming back, and he's paged me like a million times, so he likes me fine. Um, I think he's really cool, he's, he's intelligent, he's confident, he's secure with himself, 
um, and he's fun, to, he's fun to hang out with, so why not? Mathieu was saying, oh, by the way, Jimmy's like, he, he's not interested in sex, he's just, he just wants to get to know you. And I'm like, yeah, okay. And he's like, well, isn't that great? And I'm like, oh, well, that, he has no choice. <laughs> I mean, like, give me a break. Honestly, all my life, every woman I've met is only because I'm on stage. And like, they, they basically, every three quarters or 99% of the women just want to f They just want to take off the why? clothes, they just want to and, and when I... Why would you when not? I'm watching the show and realizing that like you're this you're a virgin, virgin, whatever virgin means to you, like virgin, or whatever distance you've gone, you've gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what was cool to me is that like you've actually honestly kept your virginity and your uh, and you go to church and you have like the same kind of things like uh, interests that I do. Like I go to church on Sundays and I like would love to meet one woman out there that has just like kept her legs closed. <laughs> I lost my virginity at 12 years old, and it's been nothing but pure sex every single day for the last 12 years. But now I'm ready to hit the brakes and like meet somebody who is like pure. I've never met a virgin, and there's still nobody in this world has had any of the sexual experiences that I've had. Maybe it's just my sex is different than your average lay down the sack, put it in, and I like I like a 10, 12, 15 hour session. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> I think this is kind of weird, though, for me. What's that? Okay, the fact that we're right here having lunch and what? getting to know each other. What? It is weird because to me, it's like... It's just spontaneous. I know, it is. I it is spontaneous. I was back home and I was like, you know what? I wanted to see your smile again. Hey, Judy. <laughs> mm. Oh, here we go. Mm. Look up? Yes. What I do and what she is, and what I, I mean, I think is. Uh, okay, first you know, of all, still good. We're still human. Still good people inside. You know what's the funny part, though, Jimmy? Inside. Honestly, though, like, is that most people are gonna are freaking out, probably, right? Because they're like, oh my god, he's a porn star. What the hell? Yeah. And yet, who are the people who are watching porn? It's you. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's mm -hmm. these people who are judging. It, yeah. I find the worst is the one, the worst speaks out most of the time. I do like spending time with him. He's very cool, but I can't shake out of my head what he does. You know what I'm talking about? And even like him being in jail, it's just like it, it kind of freaks me out. And not only that, but it kind of takes me back to this guy that I was going out with in Vancouver who I had to leave permanently because of his lifestyle. I don't know what it is with me and the bad boy, <laughs> but it always, I don't know, not always. I mean, I did a lot of guys who were nice, good guys, so it's not like, you know, this always happens, but um, it kind of takes me back with the whole, the guy, the, the man, my dreams, the love of my life, you know what I mean? And his lifestyle and all that kind of stuff, but um, this is completely different. Yo, oh, you don't like when people call your names, eh? Go ahead, slap me in the face and get kicked out of the loft. Pull on, do it now, come on. F*** off. I'm sick of talking to you like a human being because it's a human being you ain't. So today in my confession, they were, uh, they were talking about um, Trey saying that he's going to offer like a thousand bucks for somebody to come forward with mm -hmm. proof of the so I said what you said, and I go, uh, I'll offer, I'll counter-offer um, a thousand bucks for, for somebody, for a guy to come forth and say that they f*** Trey. They're just like these two little kids that just keep yipping at each other, and, you know, Trey puts out his ridiculous a thousand dollars for any guy who slept with Sandy, and now the only thing more ridiculous than that is Sandy doing this thousand dollars for some guy that slept with Trey. Um, you know you have nothing else better to say and no grounds for any type of rebuttal when you have to like take a shot at a guy's sexuality. He starts it, I finish it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit here and have somebody badmouth me, somebody calling out ridiculous, stupid challenges about me and not retaliate back because I'm not that type. I will, I will get my revenge. There was a conversation the night of the 100th, um, 100th day celebration. We were having this conversation about sex. And every time we'd like, talk about sex or what do you like, whatever, he'd always say, but with a girl. On me, me to a girl, or me to a guy? You to a girl? Me to, yeah, sure. No, no, we're, ask, we're asking about you and your homosexual Actually, you, tendencies. You know, we're asking you know about is, you, your own you, balls. Do you like your balls being played with? Or are you just sure. strictly a penis guy? No, sure, yeah. It's a fun thing? 
Yeah. With, by, by a girl, by a girl though. We're talking about girls. And Unless you specify. And you know the like, funniest thing is that like, a gay guy would say, like, what does it matter? Like, a, a guy or a girl is still someone touching there and it should feel the same. No, it matter. totally matters because when a girl touches you. No, no, but so many gay people you, say, that totally me, like, say that to me. Like, say that, Joe. What does it matter? I so many gay guys. Like, if you, all your friends are gay. No, no, no. I have to do it. With a girl, it's like, oh, yeah, baby. With a guy, it's like, Ugh. Yeah, that's I'm not that like, guy. No, or that, but yeah. I think well, we assume that, Trey. Like, we're, we're not talking about your homosexual tendencies. So I think that he's really, um, like, cautious and nervous. There is no way in hell that anybody's going to get proof that I had sex because I didn't. But the thing is, is that if, if anything, I can get dirt on you, Trey, because you live in Toronto and we're in Toronto. And I'm sure there's a lot of people who don't like you very much. And uh, I'm going to get lots of dirt on you. In fact, people have already been talking. Okay, Trey, for the record, are you gay? My family, Trey. No, I didn't. I said, what would Mama Monero yes, think of this? Yeah, oh, okay, that's fine. That's not calling her a whore, attacking your person. All I'm saying is, don't f start my little with 12 my year old brother fat making him cry. I hope your sister calling feels my good. Your sister fat? She that's is fat. And she too. called me a bastard in front of my little brother. F you. F you too. How about you suck my d But, are you still saying that thing? Oh, Jimmy Dave? We went out on, um, he came by. He, he came by on don't, Friday. Don't date him, don't. He came by on Friday, don't. but he's, he's... hearing bad things, don't. He's, uh... I'm not gonna go out with him. I know, him. I know. Okay, just chill. But there's something very, very fishy about him. I don't, I don't like it. He was in jail in Georgia. I really need cocaine. Oh, are you are you gonna bad mouth him and then when he comes in here you're gonna start sucking up? No, 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 no. But no, no. I'm just saying. I'm I'm, he, I didn't bad mouth him. I, I, I was wrong for I was wrong for passing judgment on him. Really, yeah, yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah. I, I admitted it. So don't bust my balls for admitting that I'm wrong. Is there anybody I'm not else busting here? your balls. I'm saying I agree. I don't think he's a cool guy. No, he's I'm not. He's, like, this, I think he's just very fishy and scary. He did, he, did, he did five years in Georgia in a federal prison for running cocaine. This is not a guy you bring home to mom. Yeah. Yeah, he told me that right from the get what do I care? I'm saying. Just do you care? Don't go. Don't just what? You want to hang around with just a with, with, just with a yourself. convict? Don't just talk. Watch don't. First of all, now you're judging, and second of all. Well, yes, I'll because when you're, when, like. you're, when you're when you're when you're a convict running cocaine and, and you're like convicted a convicted con. All I'm saying is, if somebody did something in the past, they did in the past. We're gonna leave in the past. Yeah, first you know of all, what? I'm not defending I'm anybody. Saying, here. How, how, how about hanging with someone that here. never ran coke in the past? But. On the other hand, we don't know a lot about your history, do yeah, we? Yeah, but I've never been in jail or federal prison for running coke. I'll, I'll I don't care. care. It's just that I, listen, obviously, I'm just saying, obviously. Just, just watch yourself, that's all. See, Thanks, that's babe. all I'm saying. No, so, I appreciate you. That's fine, that's you're, all you're I said before. Yeah, no, that's me. all he's but, saying. But coming from you know, me, it means shit, right? But from Trey, well, no. Because you guys are... Yeah. That's all I said, yeah. too, is like... Yeah. No, Trey, you're... I expect whatever comes out of your mouth that you're trying to help me out. Whatever, whatever. Yeah. Also, try, trying to help my mama too. Mama Madero's this. Mama Madero. Where are you guys going? call your mama whore. Where are you guys going? You brought my family what? into it. My sister finished it. Ely, you started it. Your family brought themselves into it by calling up here you and calling me names and everything and, and coming you, to law. Finish it. You start okay, with us. If you if you want me to and finish it, finish. I will because I'll bring up everything. I'll, I'll no, no old bard. We I'll f attack your f uncles, your aunts, your father. You already have. I have not. We have to I never called your parents a f bad name and never bad mouthed them once. You started it with my family, Trey. No, I didn't. I said, what would Mama yes, Madero think of this? Yeah, oh, okay, that's fine. That's not calling her a whore, attacking your person. All I'm saying is don't f start My little 12-year-old brother fat making him cry. I hope your sister calling feels good. Calling my older sister fat? She that's is fat. You, she too. called me a bastard in front of my little brother. F you. F you too. How about you suck my Guys, 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 you guys, can guys, keep guys, dreaming guys. about that one. Because it is going to happen. You keep happen. dreaming about it. Your sister's a you keep truck driving about it. bad mouth little bitch. And she's the one that Are started it. Are you still talking to still talking about my sister? U8 Shop. That's where you go to on the U8 TV dot com homepage because that's where you can get all of your gifts that if you want to return back to the wonderful holiday Christmas time and you want to get more gifts 
and you can do that if you're returning things, etc. Now, I'm trying to figure out what I would get for Jimmy Dean if I was shopping for him. I don't know, it's probably something with lots of studs or cuddly teddy bears or something. No, I'm just kidding. Um, oh, Jimmy. Anyway, if you actually want to see Trey confronting Jimmy Dean and Jimmy J trying to confront uh, Trey back, you can check that out on our website again at the video archive section of UATV.com. So good luck with that. Don't forget we are 10, can 10 days away from the Lofters Marathon. That's going to be six hours of the best of the Lofters from the entire year between 3 and 9 on the Life Network. See ya! Is that when I look in the mirror, I see a woman who needs to lose weight. It's funny to live in a loft with eight people that have really different eating habits. And that's the reason why we all buy different milk and juice and we don't share anything. Uh, and the funny thing is like some people really don't care about what they eat. Like they have bacon every morning and they, they have like big plate of pasta every day as well. And some people really do care about what they eat. And the best example of this is Jennifer. Jennifer uh, take really, really, really good uh, care about what she's eating. You don't want cream cups? Oh, I haven't cut it yet. Whoever is in control room right now, gonna follow me around. I'm being the Dave Keystone for Friday night. You know what I'm saying?